The United Nations is renewing its call for Kim Jong-un and the rest of the leadership in Pyongyang to face the music for their well-documented crimes against humanity. Kim mok with the details. Marzuki Daruzman, the UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights in North Korea, has called on Pyongyang to take responsibility for its humanitarian crimes. Speaking at a UN Human Rights Council meeting in Geneva on Monday, Daruzman said North Korean people are starving and suffering from slave-like working conditions, while its leaders spend huge sums of money garnered from the country's huge natural resources to develop nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles. We are closing in on the North Koreans. And uh, the nature of the regime is such that, that uh, with total, complete control of the system, nothing happens anywhere in that country without the say-so of the highest supreme leader, chairman of that country, uh, Mr. Kim Jong-un. He said international criminal law holds military and civilian leaders responsible for failing to prevent crimes against humanity by those under their authority. According to Daruzman, this offers a plausible theory to hold the Kim Jong-un regime culpable. He called for a stern follow-up action to the UN's landmark Commission of Inquiry report, stressing that the warning letter sent to the North Korean leadership two years ago has gone unanswered and has done nothing to improve the situation in the North. He urged the Human Rights Council to set up an expert panel to look into the structure and methods of accountability in order to bring Pyongyang to account for its abuses. Meanwhile, with North Korea's foreign minister announcing early this month that the regime would boycott sessions of the Human Rights Council that examine its record, North Korean representatives did not take part in Monday's meeting. The Ruzman said their absence does not do the North Koreans any good, and he urged them to return to the negotiating table and counter his stance. So far, the European Union, the United States and Japan have supported the UN envoy's latest call for accountability. Kim Mogyan, Arirang News.